This is a touch of tarot, and I'm going to get into your March reading and see what's coming up for you. Here we go, starting with some dark energy, um, the moon, but let me get four more cards for us, and then we'll clarify them afterwards. For Scorpios for March, okay, interesting. Two major arcanas so far, that's two out of three. We also have a fourth one here, amazing. So the devil and the sun, oh my gosh, you're, something huge is happening here. Um, we'll take the bottom. Interesting, okay, so Scorpios, um, we're starting off with the moon. So this is about listening to your intuition, paying attention to the signs from the divine um, some sort of unnecessary worry, letting go of your fears, revelations that will make everything clear. I feel that you're kind of coming uh, to terms with a matter of with matters of something that have to do with your heart, because this moon person is moon angel. I should call it is holding their heart to energy. Um, I kind of feel that this has to do with a partnership of some sort and maybe breaking free from that, but we'll see what happens here. Um, there could also be a work situation, something I feel like one person is doing more work than the other. I also kind of feel like someone's pretending to do work. Um, I don't know, but something's like kind of fun and games. Like it's almost a relationship that has something going on in the background, Scorpios, that people may not know about, a financial situation. Um, I actually see the female doing work here, but for some reason, I feel like the male is saying, hey, like this isn't adding up. Where, what are you What are you doing with the money or what's going on here? So it's a rocky foundation that you have on your mind and it's close to your heart and you're ready to make a decision or you've already made a decision about this, okay? Um, so let's see, there's gonna be a change. That could be the decision. Uh, you've come to an unexpected revelation. You could have found out that someone was stealing from you, Scorpios. Um, breaking free of prosecution. Is that what that says? Let me see that for a second. Sorry. Oh, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. So you may have been really faithful to a situation and you held it close to your heart. Um, but deep inside, I feel like you knew there was something going on here. Okay? Because we have the devil and the sun. And so with the ego energy, I almost feel like you stayed in this situation because, yes, you did care, but also your ego was involved here. It could have been a marriage. I'm almost picking up like a work relationship with someone, someone getting ripped off though, right? So the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, then make a choice that supports your path to happen, addictions or unhealthy habits. So... <clears throat> Whatever this connection was, I feel like that was the unhealthy habit here. You have four out of five cards. Five out of six cards are major arcanas here. There's a huge change that is happening a thousand percent, whether it's with work, a relationship, a partnership that's based on money or what, that's the unknown factor. But the factors that are known is that there's been a secret that's come to the light. It's time to release yourself and transform transform. You will have the strength to do this. It's really a powerful message, actually. The only thing I'm not a thousand percent sure of, because, you know, tarot cards, traditionally, it's the majors that are for sure, is what exactly this is involving. But what I do see, Scorpios, it's involving two people that have a money tie. Okay, so let's start clarifying this. And you're definitely going to have the strength um, you could be dealing with a Leo or going towards a Leo because you're breaking free from the devil and going to something that makes you very happy. Very happy. It could be someone that treats you like the king that you are. I do feel like I'm kind of connecting to a male Scorpio. And I am seeing um, the Queen of Cups underneath there, right? But the strength card in this deck is connected to, let me just make sure, I was almost going to say, the wrong card. No, it's just connected to Archangel Ariel. So that might be um, of importance to some of you. Okay, so let's see. Starting with the moon card. Wow, we have the tower. Eight of Pentacles, please. Um, I'm only going to take one here, and it's the top. Seven of Wands. 
transformation. Wow, these power these messages are so powerful already that I'm getting devil ego. Yep. And what is it coming out? No, the sun. I'm not gonna take that many. I see so many. Oh my gosh, but they're so powerful. I'm seeing the three. Let's just let's just strength. Okay. So, Scorpio, clarifying the moon card is the tower. And what I'm getting is, like, you did not want this to happen. Or what I get even more, you didn't want to believe something was true. Okay? But you found something out. And I think the tower has already happened. And in this deck, it's now it's rebuilt. Right? So we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and I believe with the seven of, of wands here, you were praying that what you... We're hearing about it could have been someone cheating on you or something um, wasn't true that someone maybe was ripping you off you were praying like don't no, like I want to believe them I'm going to give them a chance you may have tried to give someone a chance and been like okay explain this to me just explain to me where did that money go how come there's some money missing just explain that to me type of thing um, like you know just give me a reason to, to to stay with you something like this so anyhow the transformation occurs. Um, this is an experience that requires changes to be made. There's revelations that happen. No more procrastinating on it. Like you had to leave. It was time to leave. Ten of Swords. And it's interesting because in this Ten of Swords, there's some people in the back there spying, watching, whatever you want to call it. But they know you. they did you wrong. Some people could have did you wrong. It could be more than one. And it could be also tied to finances and money and love. Okay, finances and love. Um, so with the ego breaking free with the judgment, time to go. See here, the two adults are done. So if there's a connection with um, someone you have a child with, the child's fine. But the two adults connected, they're done. It's dead energy here. Um, it's time to put something to rest so something new can come from this. A new beginning coming to the sun. Some people may have a sun involved in this, but this is about um, after pain, after pain, coming in stability, coming in love, coming in a solid offer, someone coming in towards someone who um, they're attracted to is what I'm seeing here. And with the strength card clarified by the two of wands, I do think someone is going in a new direction towards someone they want to be. Maybe someone. Um, that they're in love with, or they just want, I think that this is a Leo energy, to be honest with the double Leo stuff. So you could be going towards a Leo whose heart you broke, but it's been healed by the way. Um, so you could tra be traveling towards that person. Let's get two cards, one for you, Scorpio, one for your person. You can decide who they are. So interesting enough. This one came in reverse, huh? Okay. So we have the thief energy, but Scorpio, that could have been you. Um, or it could have been the person you're even dealing with. Like, But I'm almost feeling, this is someone, okay, what this is about is someone tried to steal what cannot be stolen <laughs> um, from someone. I don't know if you tried to take someone's heart, but I feel like it got stuck on you almost. Um, but what this talks about is someone who realizes that they do have love for someone else. You know, they may have tried to hide it in their cloak or in their whatever it's called, but it was there. It was very strong and nothing could take that away. Um, it could also be what I'm getting also for you is with the person that kind of broke your heart, right? They really let you down. It can be something you'll kind of keep with you. I'm getting that. And especially with the healing energy coming in reverse, I feel like there was a serious um, see taking advantage of those who need help taking advantage taking advantage of those who need help um failing to care for oneself i don't know someone here was definitely taking advantage possibly of you okay let's see what else we have i'm gonna pull one more i feel like you were passionate about something um and you got taken advantage of you. You're not going to show how much you're hurt, Scorpio. This is very you energy, like to just cover your heart up. Um, 
So this is father energy. This can be someone you were taking care of. They took advantage of you. Okay. But you're moving towards a new vision, a new beginning here. Um, and you know it. You're actually not quite worried about it is what I'm seeing. You're at, like now that you've walked away, Scorpio, this is your energy. Um, one of your energies, we don't have the death card, but the transformation reminds me of Scorpio energy, just destructive. Um, but once you walk away, you are not coming back is what I'm getting. I think you've taught the lessons you're meant to teach in that other situation and you feel um, like it's time to go. It's done here. It's It's gotten very toxic. Hey, Scorpios, thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.